Hey, Stephen Garner here. I'm going to share with you today my self-empowerment cue. And I'm really excited about sharing this cue because it is what I live by every day. It's the cue that helped me to overcome multi-generational poverty, mediocrity, and to propel me to the next level in my personal and professional life. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to say some things that are going to rub you the wrong way. So listen to your better self. Be humble and just take it for what it is. But I'm not into criticizing or speaking negatively of people. But I am about being frank and helping you to grow in your life. And there's some things you have to change. So my cue is based on this one thing. If you are not where you know you should be or where you can be, you need to evaluate that image that you have of yourself. The famous cosmetic surgeon Maxwell Malt said, we cannot rise higher than our self-image. Our self-image is created by our imagination. Our imagination is influenced by our value system. Our value system is adopted from our families, our environment, institutions. This is when I'm going to say something that may step on your toes. But listen to me though. I have your best interest at heart, okay? If you're one of those type of people who watch a lot of garbage on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, or whatever your favorite source of media is, that is influencing your imagination. And that image that your imagination is creating is telling you that you should mimic, should follow, should behave according to what you see. What I'm saying to you today is that you have to take care of what you put into your mind. Let me share something with you real quick about companies that I serve. They spend a lot of money, millions of dollars, in creating their brand image. And a brand image is not created by one thing. It's not a logo, a, a, a label, a, a title. Uh, it's not a graphic. A brand image is the interaction with every touch point about that company. When you call the receptionist or the chat bot, or you look at the website, the brochure, the, the salesperson, if it's a retail space, how what the lighting is, uh, when you actually consume a product or use a service, that experience creates an image in your mind of what that company values. This is why customer service is important, right? Because they're telling you how they feel about you by the way they serve you, okay? It creates an image. So then when you see that logo, that logo reminds you of that value. That logo influences you to place value on that company because of all those other things that you experience. And that is the brand image of the company. It's the same with yourself. So if you're consuming garbage or you're engaging with people who are not helping you to be the best version of yourself because their value system is low, it's horrible, they're negative, they're not doing uh, their best, they have bad behaviors, or you, you're just watching things that are really pushing you in the wrong direction, you will never rise higher than that image your imagination is creating based on the consumption of content or your exposure to those different things. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I know I'm saying a lot and I know it's kind of dense, but what I'm trying to encourage you to understand is this just one thing. You have to be careful about what you watch because what you watch, it becomes you. It influences your imagination to create an image and you act out of your imagination based on that mental image. But if you watch the right things, you read the right things, because everything creates an image. Everything is sending, sends a message to your imagination to create a version of you. If you do the right things, you hang around the right people, you say the right things, you have positive self-talk every time. And you see this in great people every time. You see it in athletes, you see it in leaders. You see this in people who have overcome great hardship. They all rise above. They all do great things because they have a wonderful, fantastic image of who they are. I'm Stephen Garner. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and have a good life. Next Tuesday.